Kadanga Chini, this, I'm told, is in Tharaka constituency here in Tharaka Nithi County, and this is where the NASA principals are expected to land. This being part of their ongoing charm or offensive across the Meru region in the ongoing hunt for the 2017 vote. But perhaps to understand the issues for the residents here better, I would like to speak to the incumbent uh, MCA, uh, elected on what was formerly Peter Kenneth's party, but has since decamped to NASA. Mwishmiwa, why the move to NASA? Yeah, of course, uh, I want to be counted like other Kenyans. I uh, must stand up and be counted and join other Kenyans, because in NASA is the way. There's no any other way in Kenya, and because it's the part which is uniting all Kenyans. So that is the reason why I shifted from KNC to NASA. Yes. You have been in power for the past four years or so. What are the issues that you feel the Jubilee regime has not fulfilled for your people, hence your move to NASA? I, I, I want to say categorically that uh, here in the Rakanidi County, this has been a strong wound for Jubilee Party. But I want to tell Kenyans that it will never be strong wound of any party but the strong wound of Kenyans. We want to unite Kenyans. There is no any, any tribal rights we want to incline in the Rakanidi County. That is why we are saying the Jubilee government for four gold years have cheated the Raka people because otherwise we have no good rules, no water, no electricity that they have sent, they have connected the, uh, m uh, power to every school. Here we are at Kadangachi. There is no power. That is the reasons which have made me to safety to uh, NASA. NASA. Thank you very much, yes. Mwishmiwa. Let me speak to somebody who will be contesting the governorship of the Rakanithi County on the ODM party ticket. Mwishmiwa Tufahamishe Jinalako and why they moved to ODM. Mimi naito Kave wa Kave, nekua wa Chiasa miaka mingi. Katika hii Tharakanithi County, mina wambia kiti ya ngabana na tikiti ya NASA. NASA ndiyo, njia, ndiyo eh, open ya watu watu wa Kenya. Jubili imeangusa ime, Kenya, imesau Kenya, sasa tunataka ki, na ulisa watu wa Tharakanithi wote wawe kwa NASA. NASA. Thank yeah. you very much. Due to the pressure of time, let me speak to other leaders who have uh, come visiting here. Mwishmiwa Gladys Wanga, I can see she's here as well as uh, Dagoret North MP Simba Arati. They are uh, already here expecting to receive the other NASA leaders. Mwishmiwa, you were in Meru yesterday. What goodies do you have for the residents of Tharakanithi as you campaign here? Yeah, the only assurance is that you're going to bring uh, equity among our people in the country, unlike the Jubilee government, which has really uh, uh, frustrated. And there was a clear indication in Meru that indeed this government has ignored the people who come from this uh, section. And as NASA, we want to promise that this Kenya has to be, you know, the crowds we saw yesterday, they have been saying, oh, we, we move people. There were no laws there. There is a very big distance between the Nyanza and all Nairobi to Meru. Therefore, it's, it's, it's a clear indication of revolution that is coming into the country. And uh, Jubilee has no business to stay in power. Let them go home. And these are the people who are saying that. These are the people who voted for Jubilee. And indeed, they have not seen any fruit as equally for the whole country. Therefore, we're here today. We are certain that the people, they are ready. I've, I've seen the reception today. It's also good, uh, which are certain that the vote, the 700,000 that we're expecting from uh, the Meru community, we'll get it. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Let me speak to your colleague, the Homa Bay woman representative, uh, Mwishmiwa. You were in Meru yesterday and you raised your issues which you feel that the Jubilee regime has not addressed yet. But you're being accused by the ruling uh, regime of uh, casting a, a, you know, a, a, an eye on only what they have not done and not seeing what they have done for the Kenyans. Do you feel that's true? I think uh, our responsibility as the opposition is to touch the heartbeat of the people and to speak out for people who cannot really speak out for themselves. And this is what we are doing. This is what we did yesterday in Meru. We raised very serious issues regarding Mira. And uh, it resonated with the people because the people truly say that uh, this is the mainstay of their economy. And when this comes down, their families come down, the education of their children comes down. And when, when we are here today in Tharakanithi, we know that uh, despite having voted for Jubilee, um, 
very, very high percentages, almost 100%, uh, percent, they have not seen the fruit of, of their vote. I think this is what they are saying. When we go to these places, this is what they are saying. They are saying they have not seen the fruit of their vote. Because during the coalition government, they had products here, dengue, other things, which were selling at almost 100 shillings per kilo. Mawelo, they were selling at 100 shillings per kilo. Sogam was selling very high. But ta now when you speak to them, they're telling you it has come down to 25 shillings per kilo. Right. How are they supposed to survive as people who voted right. for, for Jubilee? Yeah. So this is why they're saying they're ready for change. Yeah. They want change. They want yeah. NASA. And we are reaching out to them. Yeah. And we are saying NASA will give the example of a true government that reaches out to everybody, no matter tribe. We will, you know, equity across the entire country. We know that every Kenyan deserves the best. And this is the government that NASA is going to bring about. So this is what we are talking about. And this is the message of hope that we have brought to the people of Tarakanithi today. Thank you very much for your time, Thank Mweshmiwa. You. Now, that has been the Homer Bay woman representative, uh, uh, Gladys Wanga, giving some insight into what will dominate their address to the residents here as the National Super Alliance makes yet another onslaught on a Jubilee stronghold, this time in Tharakanithi, in the ongoing hunt for the 2017 vote. Back to you in studio. All right. Thank you very much, Mori Mumwangi, for that. Uh, and uh, just a follow-up to that, there has been a statement uh, that has been released by uh, Honorable Rilo Dinga, uh, in regards to the uh, visit yesterday in Meru, and uh, he's basically uh, talking about 